Well, what's up everyone and welcome to the guide. I want to torch only Elden Ring. You want to torch only Elden Ring. He, she, we wants to torch only Elden Ring. And I'm going to show you how. And before we get into this one, I really want to say that torch only Elden Ring is a pretty solid challenge. Now, at the start, it's not too bad. But later in the game, when you get to those amazing best bosses in the series, like Codskin Duo, it's going to get insanely tough. So if you want to do this one for fun up until like Radan or go all the way, it's all completely fine and I'm going to show you how. One more thing I really need to stress before we start is that the hardest thing about this whole run by far is sponsored content. Sponsor Renote by Enlisted Arena. Oh, well, well, look at me. I'm just a funny World War II rooty tooty shooty man. I sure hope that I don't get put into a cross platform large scale battlefield combat game because if I do, I'll probably never see my wife and kids again. Wait. Oh no, I'm playing Enlisted, which has all of these features. I, I am so totally fucked. That's right, Enlisted is an historically accurate shooter with a huge emphasis on skill. What I like about this one is the squad system. When playing, you control an entire squad of soldiers that follow your lead. And when you die, you immediately switch to the next soldier and continue fighting. It makes for some pretty fast paced action. I'm also a huge sucker for games with destructible environments, but this one takes another step further with the engineer class that lets you build your own fortifications and buildings. Sir, the enemy is pushing our flanks. What do we do? Ugh, I don't know. How about we build like another 12 buildings? Or maybe an anti-tank gun. Great idea, sir. They'll never see that one coming. So you can play Enlisted for free on PC, Xbox Series X and S and PS5. Use my link below to download the game and get your exclusive bonus of three days premium time, several troops and weapon orders for a fantastic start. So once again, thanks to Enlisted for sponsoring this video. Links below. G -g starting class? G I don't know. No one starts with a torch, so fuck it. Pick who you want. I'm gonna pick this little dickhead though. Starting gift, golden seed. Step on your right foot. Don't forget it. Wait for real though. How am I meant to get this torch? Ah, that was my fucking way. Is this a rune? <gasps> oh, Carly, shut the fuck up now. Yes. Okay, do that. There's your torch. Boom, baby. Whoa. Hello, love. Also, another thing we kind of got to talk about in the dress. I'm sorry, it's a bit boring, but there's a lot of people talking about what counts as a torch. For example, there's a spear called a torch pole but you have options little graveyard right here i'll show you where it is on the map well that doesn't fucking help does it it's right there you have to guess but here's a little graveyard you're gonna be picking up a bunch of runes and we're gonna be using these runes later oh my god shut the fuck up let me in the shop you little dickhead <laughs> First up, sell the runes that you got so you can afford it. This is a strength scaling torch. It goes up to B scaling. So the choice is yours what torch you want to use. Believe me when I say it's not a cock measuring contest. If you're watching this and you want to do the steel wire or a more powerful torch, feel free. I'm doing this as a basic torch just to show no matter what, it's still kind of possible. You know what I mean? And when you get to this bit here, this rat isn't going to bother. He's like, oh, what the fuck is that? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, what the shit? I told you, lad, fuck off. I've got a beast repellent torch. You can't hit me. Well, that rat bit my cock off. But that's okay, baby. All right, and for the people also wanting the other torch, we are right here in Castle Morn. There's going to be a bunch of bitch boys fighting here. Hey, yeah, fuck you. Just going to run past these two geezers. Boom, boom, boom. The good thing about it is it's got good staggers. Look at this. Fuck you. Don't look at this. Okay, don't look at this. Do not, do not look. This time, I'm not going to get my wiener blown off. Right, go, go, go. Did I take a screenshot? Cool. Right, this time, I'm not going to get my wiener blown off. We're going to be fine. Okay, so you are going to have to kill this crystallid for your ball bearing, but it's a lot easier than you think, thanks to one of the saving graces about the torch, which is stamina use per swing. Hurt for you! And one more. Nice, there we go. Right, so here's the thing. It staggers every hit, and look at my stamina. Look at my stamina. Hurt yeah. <laughs> right, and there you're going to get your ball bearing. Am I going to run out? Ah, oh, fuck, I ran out! Hugh, do you want some of the? Do you want some dragon grease, mate? Fucking gorgeous, that. He loves it. He's eating that dragon grease for his fucking tea tonight, little scruffy bastard. Wait, Hugh, can I interest you in some of the finest mushrooms and smoldering butterflies and cracked stones you've ever seen, mate? What do you think about that, mate? Fucking go, fu go fuck yourself. Right then, guys. It's been a bit of time, but this is our first boss. I have not upgraded any of my stats. I am going to get my cock slapped off. I am an idiot, but I don't care. Fuck it, we ball. The way we're doing this is a lot of charge attacks, which means we're going to put on the axe talisman. Dodge that, charge heavy. You want me to just 
cutting these charge heavies. Am I of passing skill? <gasps> I'm of passing skill. No fucking way, bro. I'm gonna get me that $19 Fortnite card. <laughs> Oh shit, I fucked up, I fucked up. I'm cowering in fear of the night, I'm fucking I haven't slept for fucking five days, right? A lot of people also might be wondering, what do we do for level ups? Anyway, fuck you. No, no, oh fuck off. Watch this baby. Hey uh, hi uh, ho, uh, oh my god, Alex D. Lion, what the hell are you doing? I've used that meme in like what, like seven of my past Elden Ring videos. I don't give a fuck. It's a good meme. I'll use it as many times as I fucking like. Dipshit. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, actually, there is one thing. You can farm the torch pull from the enemies right here, even though it is a torch in a technical sense. You are circumventing the weaknesses of the torch, the weapon range, no backstabs, no reposts, weapon arts, for example. You, you so you, you kind of not going along with the spirit of what makes the torch run hard. So, if you wanna, sure, but it's not for me. Anyway, boss time, bitches! So the damage, again, not the best, but look at those charge power attacks. You would be doing way more damage on any other weapon with charges, but fucking hell, it, it's all right enough. Gets gets a bit of the job done. Wow. I'm not going to stop. Watch, I'm not, I'm not going to stop spamming R1. He does gain fire resistance in phase two. I don't give a shit. I don't give a fuck. What the hell? I don't even know how that happened. What even is that? Playing a bit of Dark Souls 2 tonight, boys. Um, if you don't get that glitch in your game, you're doing the run wrong. You have to restart the entire run. Boom, fuck off. Take a screenshot. There are a lot of different ways to go about this now. So you do need two great runes to obviously progress the game. You have options. You can do the Ryan Lucaria or you can go straight to Radan. What you should do, regardless of what path you choose, is go up to Altus Plateau for two reasons. One, if you decide to do Radan right now, you can start the Festival of Radan by going to Altus Plateau. And two, we will be getting the ball bearing for the next set of weapon upgrades to get to a plus 12. I just want to reiterate, it is not a cock measuring contest. It's your torch run, your rules. If you want to use a torch pull spear, be my guest. If it was up to me, I'd use the beast repellent. But I'm just doing it with normal torch just to show you guys, hey, it's all possible, all fine with underperforming damage. I don't want to lose 20k souls. <laughs> oh yeah, before people start getting fucking clever with me, saying, um, actually, they're called runes. I don't give a fuck. Who's out here, literally, comment in the video. Are you actually out here saying, I'm going to drink my flask of Cerulean tears. Who the fuck's saying that? They're called blood vials. Oh, dickhead. Oh, this little fucking bell sniff. Where is he? Ugh, fuck you. Right, get in here. Slap his fucking cock off. It's just in this chest. Right here. You don't have to fight any bosses. Obviously, a lot of people would say maybe Radan is the harder of the two choices right now. Fuck it. I'm just going to do Radan right now for content. I don't give a shit. I have to admit my health bar is a bit shit. Oh, fuck it. We ball. This one's going to be a bit of a doozy any way you look at it. It's all about surviving long enough for that damage to make sense. And if anything, it's gonna teach you consistency at these bosses. And a little trick for you, enter the boss room, you're gonna be running straight back and straight onto Torrent. And you're gonna run past this little thing on the left, that little like flagpole right there. See, we run past that and you see how he's despawned. I have despawned the boss. Well, he's not really despawned. He's just kind of not in range right now. You're gonna wait here for a little bit. You're gonna go, hey, wait, wait, wait. and you're gonna walk back past that little flagpole. He is gonna spawn back in. As you can see right there, he's gonna shoot an arrow off. And by doing all of that, he now just gets the swords out and he just approaches you. This one's the easy one. You go one, two, wait for it, three, wait for it, four. And you get a big opening for a big charge power. Bam, there we go. This one sucks though. You have to do a double roll and a big slam. Boom. This is what I'm on about. I've played this a lot with Torch, so I know exactly what all the attacks do. Oh, we get a phase two. Shit, where'd he go, boys? I didn't see. Oh, a free item for me? No fucking way. Radon Spear, I want to prepare you all to cry. Radon Spear is an epic I Oh. Two plus two is four. Minus one, that's three. Shit. Bro, I will prepare everyone to cry. Prepare to cry. Prepare to cry. Radon was actually a little bitch boy. Right, that's the law. That's Stop the doing shit attacks, mate. Hey, yeah. Nice. This is what I'm saying. This challenge, it's not like absurd. Not too bad. I honestly give this one a go. How much damage? <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, no explanation needed that one. You just gotta slap that dog's foot and balls off. Anyway, you're gonna wanna take just a little nap. A little nap right about here. 
Oh, yes, I should. Me, 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 me. Shno, shno, shno. Oh, what the shit is to get this place checked out for health, health and safety hazards. That chandelier just fell off the ceiling and smashed two lasses in the back of the fucking head. This place needs to be shut down for maintenance. But yeah, if you just keep doing jumping power attacks, you'll just keep staggering her. She can't really do much back. She'll just like, keep doing dumb shit like that. My real advice here is you gotta stop focusing so much on all these charge power attacks and stuff and just, oh, just play the fucking boss normally. Can I get, actually, you can start with some power attacks though. Bam. And look, mate, that damage is not that offensive. If you get a full, if you get a full charge, it's nice, but the openings for full charges, quite, it's quite a risky one, quite risky. And I say that, and I'm, okay, I'm saying, okay. Turns out I fucking lied. Turns out I'm a fucking liar. Turns out you can do lots of power attacks. Hey, let me edit in the video. Put a little dog meme here, and he goes, huh? Do that one, go, huh? Hmm. <laughs> oh, hang on. Hello, love. As you can see there, it's like four damage. It goes up in twos, as you can see. Yeah, you may as well do it, but it's not going to be the be-all, end-all. What's your favourite boss in any Soulsborne game? Great question. One I get asked a lot, and it's kind of an answer that changes all the time. But as of right now, I just have to say, it's Twin Dragon Rider from Dark Souls 2. That boss. Man, man. What, am I even, what am I doing here? I wanted to get that. That, hey, in your run through, you have to pick up that item. It's not optional. If you don't do it, it doesn't count. <gasps> there it is! There it is! Uh, how'd you get there? <laughs> right, you need this item. You need this item. I do implore that you try a pretty princess because you look fucking hench from the back. Have you seen that? I look straight up fucking yoked. And the reason why we go with this is because of Blue Dancer Charm. It gives you more damage, so hey, there's that. Watch me spam R1. I don't give a fuck. Okay. I'm just dead. I'm just dead. This it's piss calypso. It's it is fucking minging. It's minging. Get out with Um, What happens if I just go, hey -ya! Okay, damage isn't too offensive. It's all right. Okay, what? I don't know what I'm saying. That's pretty shit, honestly. Full charge, what are you doing? Okay, full charge five. Almost 600 on a full charge. I mean, obviously a full charge of any weapon would deal that kind of damage, but bosh. Holy shit, I'm hitless. Oh, well, oh, that's easy. That's, you got it. We've got it. Two full powers. Bonk! <laughs> I mean, it's, it is pretty hard, not gonna lie. You are getting to that point now where you have to survive, like, four times longer than usual. Wait, what the frick is this? Impenetrable front? Refuse all? None may enter the earth tree? Well, I don't know how to beat the game now. So uh, feel free to end the run right now if you guys want. It's been a pretty good run. The thorns are impenetrable. You, you can't beat the game. So feel free to end the run there. It's all cool. Okay, okay. Is, is everyone gone now? Right, I'm going to tell you a little, a little secret for the video, right? Don't tell people that I told you this, but you can buy the Elden Ring Battle Pass and you can pass the thorns. So if you want to keep going, you got to buy the Elden Ring Battle Pass. I bought 12 of them. I'm giving away at the end of the video, but yep, you can continue the game after getting the Battle Pass. Hang on a sec. Hello again. Hello, love. Now, you might be tempted to spend all of those souls. However, I do want you to hold on to them. We're going to try and take them all the way to the mountaintop because we're going to use those souls to buy all the Titanite with. Hey, fuck you. And you're going to take that straight back. All right. Turns out I have not planned this guide whatsoever. <laughs> so changing plans. We're going to actually get a different torch. Now, I know I said I'm going to do this torch only. Thing is, I lied, it is a cock measuring contest. I've got a small cock, I'm using a different weapon. But mainly for fun, that's what the run's all about. It's gonna be the Ghost Flame Torch. Get right after the dawn. You don't have to really go into Nocron. Just right at the start here, you have to do some funny jumps. Try not to lose all your souls. You go, oh, fuck you. Boom, it's right at the start. What makes this torch a lot, a lot of fun is it does frost build up. That's right, it's frost and the magic scaling. Believe it or not, Fire Giant has fire resist. So. You're gonna need something else. So these big open bits, I really have nothing in particular to say. You're just kind of running around, you know. <laughs> I mean, you can fight shit if you want, but, you know, there's no good reason. Um, let me get... While we're doing this run, let me hit you with a hypothetical, though. Let, no, no, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. Would you pay... Oh, shit. Okie dokie, Mr. Fucking Crokey, it's time! For Fire Giant, now this is where the big cheese starts happening. In my original video, I think, even, I actually cheesed this one. So, hey, let's see if I can actually do it. <laughs> a thousand a hit! Okay, that's pretty funny from the torch. Just to check, how much damage is the normal torch? Just to check. Oof. That fire resist is doing a lot there, so yeah. Feel free to do- Oh, what the shit? 
Oh, fuck! That's the in-game sound effects. Don't worry about it. There's the frostbite. See, so it is worth going for. That's really helped me out. Honestly, Dark Souls 2 developers, if you're ever going to do a Dark Souls 2 2, get me on board. You get me on board. I'm a voice actor for Lost Giant 2. <laughs> oh, shit. I forgot. It's Godskin duo time. Oh, God. <laughs> right, okay, but I do actually have some solid, solid advice. There is something that works very well in your favor. And it's that many people know that sleep is good against uh, Godskin Duo. You know, sleep bombs or whatever. If you want to use sleep bombs, by the way, feel free. To compensate, there is a sleep torch. The Saint Tyrannus Torch. It is, however, in the consecrated snowfield. So you have to do Commander Nail and get the roll to lift a secret thing. Or you can do what I'm going to do now and do a glitch. Um, depending on when you watch this video, it could be different. Fuck you, Google it. It took me like half an hour. Don't give a shit. Sit here in this talk. It makes people go, sh me, 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 me. All of that work. You can finally get back to the best boss in the fucking game. Get in. Where is he? Get in. Godskin duo. Yes. Can't wait. Uh-oh. Does it work? Sh me, 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 me. Please. Please. Please work. Please, I spent like an hour getting this. Shimmy, me, me, me. <laughs> it doesn't fucking work. <laughs> this one is really tough, not gonna lie. I would recommend this kind of build I've got going on. Now, it is worth upgrading the Saint Tyrannus Torch. It's with Somberstone, this one, because we will be hitting the bosses to make them fall asleep. So we will be building up. And, you know, just a little bit of respectable damage, like a little bonk right now. You know, it's a, it's a free 300. He's sleeping, right. So one of them's asleep, he got that one-on-one, -on -one, right? The idea is right now, you want to be putting this guy to phase two. So you want to be getting phase two before the guy wakes up. So you're going to be in a bit of a DPS race right now. See, I'm playing a bit risky there. Full charge here, I'm just trying to get a repost. Nice. So hopefully this might take me to phase two. Right, now... What are you going to do? Go behind one of these pillars and then trap him here as usual. But this time, use the weapon art like that. Now, you have a bit of grace time, hopefully, to heal up a bit, you know. Now back down to this guy. He's already going to be a bit beat up. Now, he's going to go phase two quite soon. But he's quite near a frostbite right now. So what are you going to do? You're going to keep going for that frostbite. And at that point, what I do right now, go back to this torch. There it is. Next sleep done. He's just woke up as well. Just woke up. So, you know, that's the idea you want to be doing. Cycling back and forth like that. It's pretty tough. It's down to the last one now. It's getting quite close. I'm out of Estus, so it's going to be quite... Oh, fuck. Nah. So, I'm going to go for a straight sleep right away. Just in case I can delay that second summon. He's going to probably do it now. Oh, when's he going to do it? When's he going to summon? There it is. So, I'm probably going to get one soon. There it is, but I went in... As I said, I went in a bit too much there because I kind of cancelled it. If I would have counted my R1s... I could have got that nice, you know, if I counted my R1s, wait for the sleep and gone for this one-on-one -on -one now. Now it's a bit of a risky story. Wait, I can get this. Woo! Yikes! Now, I did pop off a little bit there. <laughs> that is probably the hardest one of the run. Debatably harder than Melania. It's a tough one, and I wish you the very best of luck. If you are going torch, torch only, my advice is to play... Unfortunately, like a mega bitch, you just keep running around to these little things, wait for the one-on-one, -on -one, one hit, bam, and you roll out. So, I wish you the very best of luck with that one. With your 200,000 souls, you are going to be getting the final upgrades for your torch of choice. I'm going to go with Ghost Flame because I think it's pretty fun. All the way to a plus 25. And yeah, that's going to be our, your torch of choice. You're not going to get much better than this. As far as level ups now, health is starting to drop off. So, go with whatever like, highest scaling you have. I mean, I'm getting an extra, like, what? 12 damage out of that? That's, that's not too bad. Unfortunately, after Godskin Duo, I'm afraid the St. Tyrannus Torch doesn't have too much use now. I mean, you can use sleep on things like Horaloo and stuff, but you don't nearly get as much. I think Horaloo just staggers. He doesn't even go down for a sleep. So unfortunately, the St. Tyrannus Torch it has had a very short lifespan for the run, but totally served its purpose. It's a lot of fun. Malakef is going to be a tricky one for some people. Obviously, feel free to get that special item that lets you parry him. I, I can give you my Malakef tips, though. Wait for a big stab. Now, what are you going to do? Dodge to the right. Now, wait. And you go right, left. And you keep, when we come to the left, dodge again. And then, boop. This gives you a big opening for a single big stab. Full charge. Right there. Do a lunge. Do the lunge. There we go. To the right. And you go right, left. Keep going left. Left again. Then in. So all I do, all I do on phase one Malakef is abuse that bit of AI for the stab lunge. Do it again. Okay, it, it, did, it wasn't in range. Bump to the left, 
keep going to the left, boom. You see how I'm just abusing that exact same attack pattern over and over and over again? But phase one Malekith, if you, if you play patient, just keep abusing that stab attack, do it again, boom, and you go right, left. It's important that you don't roll forward. If you roll forward, he does different attack. I'll, I'll roll in now, see what, how it changes. You see, you see, he kind of stopped and did a different move there. If you stay at this medium kind of range, he will spam that lunge. He will, he will do this. There you go, he just goes for a lunge. I'll show you one more time because it's so easy. He might throw that extra stab in there. Just get used, just preempt it. Nice and easy. Now, I'm going to give you more advice. What you're going to do straight away, skip the cutscene, fuck you. Run back to this little line right here. He's going to do an attack and miss. Run straight in, two power attacks. One, and a second follow up. Now you're on your own, fucker. I am waiting for those big overhead slams to abuse because you, you don't even have to dodge those overhead slams. You just like kind of walk onto his body like that. The thing is with that phase one trick, you got to come into phase two with so much extra Estus. You're going to be quite safe. So, hey, for people thinking this one's going to be tough, watch me throw it now. Fucking, I don't give a shit. Oh. <laughs> for fuck's sake! I'm so shit <laughs> I can't be arsed. Oh, fuck this. It's going to end the run. <laughs> Wait, hang on. There you go. Now that makes it all better. Your honor! Your honor! It was for content! Oh, what the fuck? Okay, just walk in. <laughs> Full charge power if you want. Honestly, that's all right once you know the safe spots like I've shown here. E e you know what? Even if you don't do a torch run, maybe you can kind of apply those to your usual run. Makes this boss a lot easier than you may think. Oh, who the fucking hell is this scunhead? Eh, eh, eh. Shut the fuck up, you little dipshit. Honestly, don't underestimate Gideon. He, he, his magic can fuck you up, but if you just keep doing running, running attacks like this, <laughs> it staggers him every time. So, you'd be pretty good. Once you get me in a corner like this, he just can't do anything, so. Shut the fuck up. That's going to my cringe compilation. <laughs> um, just ignore those souls on the ground. Okay, so last two bosses. Yeah, it is getting pretty hard, especially surprisingly Elden Beast. I'll, I'll get to that later, but for now, honestly, yeesh, horror loot, it, it can be all right. The problem is, unlike Malekith, I don't really have some like guaranteed tips for you right now. Obviously, just doing the jump attacks whenever. Now, thankfully, I've got really good at this boss because I did a hit list not too long ago, so I'm kind of learning the movesets really well. <laughs> the jumping attacks, getting those in, is really consistent, great damage. He just keeps doing it. He's, he keeps doing that response, it's nice. Okay, here's a bit of advice though. Phase two, what you're gonna do, you go, look, kind of watch my movement here. You run into him, you kind of give him a little skrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
after attacks, which with this low damage completely undoes like a minute of work in one attack back. So this one is extremely hard. My main advice is to try and learn to parry some attacks with the buckler. Now I'm gonna show you, I'm not gonna tell you to parry every attack. I'm gonna show you one or two attacks that every time you see it, you're gonna try and parry it every time, okay? All right, voiceover Lenny here. I thought rather than doing it all live like I have been, I could kind of break it down and show more accurately how to do this. So it's just the one attack as you can see this jump to the left which he does a lot, and in my opinion, probably the easiest to parry. The, obviously, you could, you could parry a bunch of her attacks. They all have various timings, so I think it's better that you just learn one parry, and you just, whenever you see it, you do it. Simple as. So I'm going to slow the footage down here, and the way I'm timing it is after she jumps, she raises her hand, and I press the parry button as soon as I see the hand fully raised in the full position. I don't go early. It's not as she's raising hand. It's when the hand is fully raised to the position. I press parry, and it goes like that. Be very aware if you're using a normal shield, that timing might not work. But with the parry buckler, that timing for me is pretty spot on. It took me 10 minutes to practice and I never miss one now. There we go. And after a repost, if you do a light attack, she will just get up instantly. So you can't do a light spam after a repost. You have to just do one full charge, that's your repost. Of course, torch pull users can get a repost there. Makes it a lot nicer. Oh, fuck me. One thing I do recommend, however, is going all the way back to Carly and purchasing like what? 640 throwing knives. It's for moments like this, when you know she's gonna waterfall. As soon as you go into a range, she'll do it. So what these are for, throw one and she'll think you're next to her. So then she'll do it. So the knives are for those moments when you know she's gonna do it. What the dagger does is makes her AI believe that she's in range and therefore she'll just do it. So daggers, very, very nice to use when you know that shit's gonna happen. Do, do it, I know you're gonna do it, so just do it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hitless. Hitless. Hitless time. Hit! Fuck. No, no, no. One, two, three. One. Nice. One, two. <gasps> Bong. One more. Okay, okay, we're cooking. Okay, let me cook. Let me cook. Let me cook. Let me cook. Go on. Go. Oh, fuck. That's intimidating. Ooh. One. Uh, I'm nervous about another one, so I'm just gonna back off and do it. Uh, no, no. Um, okay. Boom, boom. Oh! No way did I get that! And there you go. That is torch only Melania. Very hard. The throwing daggers, as you see, coming in clutch there. I would highly recommend getting used to that kind of strategy. The Melania Torch only is very, very hard. A true great accomplishment. As you can see, I was right down to the wire with no, nothing left. And yeah, that about does it, really. Nice one, guys. If you, if you do do this run, I said do do. <laughs> if you do do this, please let me know how we went with Melania because that is really tough. It took me quite a few tries there. However, the run is not officially over. The way that you have to end this run. If you don't do this, it doesn't count. You get into bed and you go, shoot me, 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 shoot me, 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 me. And you end the run right there after a big snooze. You've deserved it, lad. Congratulations. That is Torch Only, Elden Ring. Hope you enjoyed this one. Please, honestly, let me know if you did try this one. I am interested to see how you all got on. And yeah, that about does it. Thanks, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Once again, thank you Enlisted for sponsoring this video. If you are looking for a rooty tooty shooty World War 2 game, this one's pretty good. And give it a try with my links below.